find in their stomachs. So I don't really know that much about Alice Paul. Alice Paul was a field hockey player. What I do know is she was a ball. She also went to a back in the day when women could kind of vote. And one of her idols was Susan B. Anthony. And she thought Susan B. Anthony was a baller because she was all about women's suffrage and how great it is that women can participate in democracy because we're real human beings, but a lot of people can agree with that. So, so I'm going to Alice Paul. She's, a, she's an organizer, like, to the core, like from the And she's organizing and she's getting all these, you know, Factory workers and immigrants and women of all stripes and colors and stars, because she's like a patriot and everything. She's all about America. And, and she tells this thing. There, there's some like old school suffragettes. These old school suffragettes are like, you know what, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna have each state go state by state, and they're gonna be, they're gonna get the right to vote, you know, states' rights and everything. And we're gonna have the right to vote for women's suffrage. And Alice Paul, above all, she did not have four exit signs running down her quarter. Nor a wall of red. She may have had a wall of red, but not <laughs> this wall of red. Ew. Hallie, what are you implying? <laughs> and Alice Paul, because she's a baller, like, fuck that. And she goes, you know what, we're going to have a national addendum. No, she doesn't say addendum. She says, what's the thing they add on to the <laughs> Declaration of Human Rights? It's on Declaration of Human Rights. Declaration of whatever. Fuck it. So on a referendum. Fuck it. <laughs> the 20th Amendment. She says, we're going to have an amendment, a national amendment, women's rights. 20th Amendment. She says, that one is going to be mine. And so, she wages this campaign. They stand out outside the president's house, the White House. What does that mean? For days, days on end, every day, they just stand out there and they're like, we demand women's suffrage, until the powers that be, white men, are like, fuck this, let's just arrest them. So they arrest them, they go to jail, and then they're like, Alice Paul was m m majorly, like, I think, I think Alice, if, if Alice Paul were to describe herself, she'd say, hey, I am mostly concerned for me and my own who aren't feeling ourselves in what you guys are talking about, you know? If I were Alice Paul, I would be Hillary Swank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And finally they are freed from jail, and finally, finally, they get the 20th Amendment. 1920, women are allowed the right to vote. Thank you, Alice Paul.